Um, welcome to Glen Forge, and uh, today we are at Bullpen Design and Fabrication with Mr. Adam. Mr. Adam Grubb, how welcome. are you? Good. Uh, good. Good, came to school. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is January right now as we are filming, but um, you know, we'll be, we, we have a fire, so <laughs> we are not going to freeze to death. Oh, fortunately, we are, yeah, we're first time we are at a Blacksmith Forge. Um, so uh, yeah, so tell me, tell me about why you um, started to blacksmith and when you started to be a blacksmith. Uh, so last winter uh, in January, I made a dragon sculpture. So I, my background's in uh, metal fabrication, uh, metal art, but I've never used blacksmithing. Uh, so I made a dragon sculpture uh, with just a MIG welder, an oxyacetylene torch, and just whatever else I had. Um, and actually, Aaron Ayler reached out to me and suggested I take a visit to the guild in Boonesboro. Uh, so, showed up for a free hammer on a Wednesday afternoon. Nice. Um, and then two weeks later, I bought my first coal forge. Um, and then a week after that, I bought my anvil and have been hooked ever since. Awesome, great. So, That's awesome. So yeah, you're pretty, you're you're fresh. You're yeah, kind of like new to the whole. Yeah, well, well, I've been blacksmithing for eleven months. <laughs> awesome. Well, I mean that's great. I mean you know you kind of leeway into it with you know this adult gun design or just design work in general. So yeah, that's that's a great way to to get into the metal shaping and getting things with hammers. So. Yeah, it makes the uh, forming metal ten times easier than trying to bend it with your hand and remove it with a grinder. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to use a fire and hammer. Yeah. yeah or, 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 you know, any other type of tool I can bend the metal foot more efficiently. Yeah. No, so. I've, I've done a lot of bending, like, bar stock in just a vise and just heating shit with an oxy side of the torch. <laughs> awesome. What made you decide to get into the business of blacksmithing? Like, um, yeah, I'm curious about that. So, when I was, <laughs> like, 14, or maybe it was younger than that, I was like oh. 13. Uh, my mom was trying to get rid of us for the summer, so she sent us all to like different summer camps. Oh, okay. And I did not like any of the options, so she signed me up for a welding course at CTC uh, at Frederick Community College. Uh, and I learned how to stick weld, MIG weld, uh, brazing, and that was it. I was hooked. I got my first uh, tractor supply MIG welder. This was back in like the early 2000s when, shit, they, I mean, they were janky pieces of equipment, but I had that until I was like 24. It just died, like, I guess, yeah, four years ago. Um, but so I started fixing heavy equipment for my uncle, uh, dump trucks and excavators, um, stuff like that. Uh, and then started doing metal art when I was 18-ish, and that's how I paid for beer in college and sold uh, lamps and stuff like that at, uh, I sold it at the Muse in downtown Frederick. Oh, sweet, yeah, so I know that. So Whitney, the previous owner, uh, she was awesome. So she would let me sell all kinds of stuff in there, roses, uh, lamps. I would take uh, camshafts and crankshafts out of engines and use parts out of that to make stuff. And then it slowly progressed into what I do now. Awesome, so. that's, that's really fascinating. Yeah, because I, I, well, I, I started the blacksmith when I was a play or, or I met Dan yeah. at Tokar, um, you know, when I was like 13, still in like freaking middle school. Yeah, but I did take welding courses at James Rumsey Technical Institute. Oh, okay. So that was, that was another thing. So that's kind of cool that you got into like just metal work in general because of that. Yeah, age. I didn't even want to take it. I didn't want to go. I wanted no part of it. And here we are. Yeah. So it definitely helps. It's like, well, it's the cool, I mean, the fact that you can take two of the hardest things known to man and then stick them together forever is a pretty cool thing. Exactly. Especially <laughs> after you like, put all that effort into shaping them and then you're like, oh crap, how do I put this together? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I was, I was hooked. And uh, I mean, I spend more time with these things than my girlfriend, so. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Excellent. Um, so another question I have is, um, what, uh, what, what do you make here? Like what primarily, what's your, how do you run your business? How, what exactly is your, uh, uh, so I make a little bit of everything. Um, I don't, I never wanted to like niche myself into one thing. Uh, so I do plasma cut signs, um, art sculptures, 
furniture. Uh, I've made tables, my kitchen table, the legs I made, um, the bench, tip base. I've made art for the house, cabinets. Um, I make just about everything. Um, knives, I just started doing that. So Sweet. constantly growing. Good, that's great. Yeah.